Clarissa Shields. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, if we go back, you and you, you and Clarissa Shields wasn't the best of friends. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was some friction there. Absolutely. Uh. Big shout out to Clarissa, actually. Yeah. Uh, I believe she's going to be on the Fight Mad podcast. I think so. In in the weeks to come. Uh, you wasn't the best of friends. Now you are the best of friends. Tell me tell me about that, your fight and the journey and why. So the fight came about because I was actually, I was a sparring partner for Christina Hamer at the time, who she was, she was meant to be fighting Clarissa. Then Christina got sick and nobody else wanted to take the fight. And I was like, why not? Why does no one want to take the fight? Because how are you going to know how good you are if you don't go up with someone who's claiming that they're the best, the greatest woman of all time? So I was like, well, I'll take the fight. And then I could see Clarissa and I had nothing in common that I could see at the time. I was just like, she thought I was some country bumpkin from the middle of nowhere in Scotland. And I thought she was this crazy girl from Detroit in America. I, like I was just like from Flint, Michigan. And I was like, I know nothing about you. Like <laughs> we have nothing in common. You're argumentative. You're loud. You're aggressive. And then I was just like, you know, we're just chalk and cheese. And as the fight progressed, it was a fantastic build up to a fight because we genuinely disliked each other. She said she was going to knock me out in four rounds. I said she'd never knocked anyone out. So it's all that sort of stuff. You know, we had a big build up towards the fight and it was a genuine dislike. And that's that sometimes adds something to a fight. You know, it always adds that little bit of needle that makes it exciting to watch. Then we had 10 rounds of war. And um, it, I really... When I look back on it, that fight was probably my real sort of baptism of fire into the fight game at the top level. Um, I was going in against someone who was a two times Olympic gold medalist. Uh, she won multiple world titles. And I was going in there, this kid from the middle of nowhere in Scotland. And I was just like, bring it on. And I learned a lot about myself. I learned how to speak in the public eye. Um, we were getting beamed around the world for the press conferences. I learned how to have a stand-up press conference live in front of people, you know, and how I reacted to that under pressure. Then how I reacted to Clarissa under pressure in the ring. Um, and I would say, like, you know, when I look back on that fight, it's one of those weird experiences. Like, when we finished, we were still going at each other after the bell. Um... And it wasn't until after that fight where I started working with her manager, Mark Taffet, and I was signed with Dimitri Salita with Salita Promotions, uh, both Carissa's promoter and manager. We were then were on the same card later on in Detroit. We were going to be fighting. And um, we, we did some sparring <laughs> in the lead up to that. And Noel and uh, Mark Taffet were like, Noel said to Mark, are you sure you want this to happen? Because I don't really think they got it all out there in the fight. <laughs> and are you sure? Because they both got fights coming up. Um, but after the, those six or seven, eight rounds or whatever it was in the Fifth Street gym in Miami, um, after that, we were like, that's it all out. And I could really respect her 